today I'm going to show you guys how to make Jin Erso's costume from the new Star Wars movie Rogue One. For a project like this, the first place I start is the thrift store because there's so much variety and such strange clothes, which is kind of what we're looking for, right? Something that you can't normally find in the store. That's the first place to look. Second, I went to Walmart. Third, I went to Burlington Coat Factory. And it did end up costing a little bit more for like the jacket and stuff like that. But it's gonna look really good and better than anything you could buy online. You will just have to find what you can find at your local thrift store and try and match it as best as possible. So I picked up this gun at Walmart for like five dollars. I don't even think it works. Oh, oh. It works! <laughs> I swear I did not know it was gonna work. I tried it last night and it did not work. <laughs> Alright so I'm gonna pull out this clippity clippy thingy here and then we're gonna paint it black. I picked up these gloves at Burlington. They're just simple leather gloves, and I like the leather part of it. I think the leather makes this costume look more believable, authentic, you know? I'm being careful not to cut myself. Right in the middle of the knuckle there, trim each one of them right in the middle of my middle knuckle. So I'm just marking them while they're on me, and then I'll cut them when they're off. Don't cut yourself. All right, now that it's off, I'm just gonna cut off the rest of the finger. Hopefully it will look good. Yes! This makes me feel, feel powerful. It's like I'm a biker chick. Hey, look at all this lining stuff. I could probably cut that out too. I don't need lining. Who needs lining? Now that I've cut the one glove, I'm going to put it over the top of the other, match them up at the bottom, and then that will make it a lot easier to cut them so that they will match. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. So the next thing that we have for this costume is this jacket right here. Basically, it just needs to show these two strips. That's the only thing that's showing from underneath her leather vest, as well as the sleeves. So I am taking out these shiny buttons that are way too girly and way too nice. <laughs> So I'm just actually cutting holes in it completely. I think that that's gonna make it look a little bit more raggedy anyways. This is called the seam ripper and I'm just ripping out the seam. I'm just gonna cut off the collar because I feel like it's a little too modern. And then if it's seen, it doesn't look as earthly as this earth. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Now it's time to make her belt and gun holster thingy. So I just went and got an actual leather belt. I am going to poke a hole in the very bottom down here so that I can just make it long enough. So the best place to find leather straps is also at the thrift store and on purses. So I needed a little bit of leather material just to make the holster and that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this bag. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it to pieces. And it was only like four bucks at the thrift store, so not too expensive. And I think it will be plenty of material for what we need and the straps are pre-made so I don't have to make them. So now I have my leather belt and I have the belt, the belt buckle going into the back so that it will be covered by my jackets. So I've cut my leather to the right length and now I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see where I think it looks about right from the few pictures that we have. I'm just gonna mark those. I think that's pretty good, just like that. So now we're gonna rough up the material. So with four kids, sometimes projects get put on hold for a couple of days. But now I'm back and this is where I'm at. So I've got the head scarf. This is just an infinity scarf and it's pushed back. So it's not really bunching right here. It's bunching on the back. And I've got my green jacket that I took the fancy shiny buttons off of because this is not a fancy shiny kind of costume. My gloves that I cut the tips off of. This gun that was a little dark gun and we painted it black and now it's dry. I let it dry in the house for a couple of days. I also have these pants that I got at the thrift store, a gray long sleeve shirt for underneath, and some brown boots. I am so lucky because I went to the thrift store and I found this for $8. So this is just a leather looking jacket. It feels like leather and it looks like leather and it's the right color for her vest. So we're gonna take this apart and turn it into a vest. So this says guess on it and I don't really want that on there. Just kind of a big tag. So I'm gonna take that off and that's just extra anyways. Any detail that you can keep on though is really what we're looking for. Her vest has all sorts of detail all over it and I'm not gonna go into 
so much detail. That's why I looked for a jacket that already had a lot of pockets and zippers and detail on it. I'm gonna cut off both sleeves now, and I'm just going slow, making sure I'm not cutting into anything that shouldn't be cut. And there is a liner, we'll be cutting that out too. I'm also making sure to give this plenty of space because I'm going to be folding it over and sewing it so that it's a really clean stitch so we don't have any fraying happening. If you don't have enough detail on your leather jacket, and this is actually polyester I found out, you can always use the sleeves as extra material to make extra pockets and add more detail on. And I seriously bought two other jackets before it that would work, but that weren't the best. And so when I found this one, I was like, yes, third time's the charm. Now that I've trimmed off the sleeve, it's time to fold down the leftover part over the top of the rest of the jacket. So let's stitch that together. So what I like about this material so far is it doesn't really look like it frays that much. I don't feel like I have to like really tie it together, hem it super well. I'm just gonna basically put it in place and make it look the way that I want it to and not really clean up the inside. Okay, I think it looks good. Okay, I wanna try it on just to take a look at the sleeve and see how it looks. Or the lack of sleeve, ha ha ha. And then I'll do it to the other side too. Let's cut this part off and do the exact same thing that we did to the sleeves. This is the mini collar around the, it's almost like a hood, but it doesn't have any hood around the neck. I'm leaving about 5 eighths of an inch so that we have plenty to fold over and make the hem look nice. Hey, it's done! So the inside is still kind of jagged. There's not really anything that I need to fix though, so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because on the outside, it looks really good. Okay, so on hers, she's got some of her green showing and it looks like it's working perfectly. I love that it's already naturally laying the way that I wanted it to lay, showing the green all along the edge on both sides and then just having the jacket come in. Ah, it looks good, I think it looks right, yay! Now I've got my bag that I got from the thrift store. This is just thin leather, probably fake. I'm just gonna actually trim out as much material as I can. And we're gonna see if we can sew together the shape of the gun holster. So here's the material that I got out. The zipper was up here, cut that part off, cut this. So I've got this piece, it's probably a foot by eight inches, something close to that. Now I'm gonna take my gun and set it in there where I want it to be. So I'm gonna sew it from here to here, cut it afterwards, just so that we get it in the right place before we decide to cut it. And we're just sewing a straight line here. We're just trimming off the excess now and let's flip it inside out. That's an interesting sound. Woo! Hey, and I left that part on there. I think it looks good. I am putting it back inside out and I'm going to sew the bottom shut. Just a straight line across. Now I'm cutting off the leather straps from the purse. So I found this in my looking around at bags and extra supplies for stuff. I am only using this because I don't have a small belt, a small brown belt that matches because I was just using these off of the purses. I would suggest just finding a small brown skinny belt that would match the rest of the holster. Cutting the metal part off of this strap. I'm taking this piece and I'm sewing a loop over the middle part. I basically just made myself a belt, a little leather belt. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my holster. So she has it on this leg right about here. So I think that that's where I'm going to make a couple of slits for our belt to go through. Slip that through. And we have our fir first part of our holster here. Okay, sweet. So that part is done and that's gonna hold it on really well and in the right place. Now we're gonna take our V shape and I'm gonna put that right in the middle here. So I'm gonna take it and sew this part right here to this part on the back. There's the V and we just wanna sew it right in there. So I think that's the perfect way. So basically, I'm just gonna stitch this on back here to kind of give it a little bit more detail. And this is just another piece of the purse that I cut off. I'm so excited about this! It looks right, I feel like it's feeling right. And that liquid stitch worked really well up here, actually attaching it to the real leather. What do you guys think? I think it turned out amazing. I'm actually so excited and happy right now with the way that it all turned out. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video. If you click over here, you can see how to make a Ray costume from last year. And if you click over here, you can see the behind the scenes of this video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you guys at the premiere on the beach house if you want to see that. <laughs>